So the next type of differential equations that can be explicitly solved is called a Bernoulli differential equation. Now, um, so what is a Bernoulli differential equation? So it is a nonlinear differential equation, but it can be reduced to a linear equation by a change of variables. So th this is the general form of a Bernoulli differential equation, right? So it kind of looks like a linear equation, but the right-hand side is, is not just Q of X, but it's Q of X times Y raised to some power alpha. So alpha is a real number. Well, notice that if alpha is zero, then um, anything to the power zero is just, just one. So that there is no Y raised to the power alpha. So, and we get a, a linear equation essentially. And if alpha is, is one, then again, uh, the, 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 there is no alpha, it's just, just y, and then you, you can move the, this over to the left-hand side and just combine the, the two terms with, with y together. And again, it, it's going to be a linear function, right? So basically, um, strictly speaking, a linear differential equation is a type of a Bernoulli differential equation, but it's probably a, not so interesting because we already know how to solve linear differential equations, right? So um, we are going to focus on solving Bernoulli differential equations um, for the cases when alpha is not zero and, and not one. Because if it is zero or one, then it's just a linear differential equation. And it is possible. Um, so uh, how do we do that? So there are basically two approaches. Um, let me teach you the approach that I learned myself as a, a university student 25 years ago or so. Uh, now, it is a bit different from what you see in the slides, but uh, maybe it'll help you. So the idea is uh, is, is the following. It, it's kind of neat. Um, so suppose that we have the, this Bernoulli differential equation, dy dx plus p of x times y equals q of x times y raised to the power alpha. Now, the idea is that um, since we, we will have um, y and y to the alpha, so the idea is to try some substitution uh, where we replace y with some power of y and, and see how it goes, right? So um, I'm, I'm going to try the, the substitution where u equals y raised to, to the power of k, right? So it means that y itself is going to be u raised to the power 1 over k, where k is some number. And now, I don't know what k is. It could be 3, it could be negative 1 half or, or, or anything, right? So I want to figure out the value of k so that if I uh, pick that particular value of k, then it, it is going to simplify my differential equation, right? So now, if y is uh, u raised to the power y over k, then it means that dy dx is going to be, um, so I need to differentiate this by the chain rule. It's going to be 1 over k times u raised to the power 1 over k minus 1 times d, uh, u dx, right? So uh, now I'm going to replace dy dx with this in my differential equation. So the, the, doing this, I'm going to get 1 over k times u raised to the power 1 over k minus 1 times du dx plus p of x times y. y is uh, u raised to the power 1 over k equals q of x times y raised to the power. So let me erase this. I don't need this anymore. Um, alpha over k, right? Because uh, u, uh, y is u raised to the power 1 over k, and then I need to raise this to the power alpha. And uh, when I raise to, um, well, so some number to, to two consecutive powers, then it's just the, the product of the exponents. Okay, um, now, in order to get rid of this term, I need to multiply the whole equation by u raised to the power 1 minus 1 over k, right? It's just the reciprocal of this because this is really 1 over u times 
1 over k minus 1. Okay, so doing this, I will get 1 over k times dy dx plus p of x times u raised to the power 1 over k uh, plus 1 minus 1 over k equals q of x times y alpha over k plus 1 minus 1 over k. All right, and it is kind of neat because um, 1 over k minus 1 over k cancels out, so this is just u, right? And it means that in order to, for the whole equation to become linear, so what I do get is I, I kind of get a new Bernoulli differential equation, right? So, but now I, I get to choose k, so I, I am able to choose a particular value of k so that the whole thing is simplified. So how do I do that? So basically, I know that just, you know, um, according to the same logic as in the previous slide, it is going to be simpli simplified when this exponent, alpha over k plus 1 minus 1 over k, is going to be 1 or 0. Okay. Now, what happens if it equals to 1? So if it equals to 1, then basically 1 and 1 cancels out. So I will get alpha over k minus 1 over k is 0. And alpha over k minus 1 over k is just really uh, alpha minus 1 over k. Now, this means that alpha is 1. But uh, it, it's not really useful to me because the idea is that uh, alpha is given to me and I need to pick a particular value of k that is going to simplify things. And here, in this scenario, I do not get to choose the value of k. So this is a dead end. Okay, so it didn't work. So it didn't really work. So instead, I should try to make this equal to zero. What if I try to make it equal to zero? So then what I get is alpha minus one over k should equal to negative one times k, I get alpha minus 1 equals negative k. So k itself is going to be 1 minus alpha. And that's it. Right, so what, what, I, what I see is that if I uh, introduce the, the substitution that is u equals y raised to the power 1 minus alpha, then I am going to uh, transform my Bernoulli differential equation to a linear differential equation, right? So basically the, the way to remember it is that we try to replace y um, with a new variable, which is y raised to some power k. And then we don't know which value of k we should choose. So we just try to substitute y to the k into the equation and see for which value of k we kind of get uh, an equation that is going to be sol solvable. So that's one way to, to look at it. So th this is something that if, if you kind of don't remember, how to do a Bernoulli differential equation, but you kind of just, just remember that it, it is this particular trick. And this, this is what kind of I do because I learned this 25 years ago. And uh, all that I remember from those, those times is that I, I need to um, uh, substitute y to the k in, into the, this differential equation, right? And now I can figure out what the value of k should be. So here is in another approach. So another approach is to well, again, so notice that um, y shouldn't be 0 because, uh, well, we, we do know that if y is 0, then we, we get a solution, right? So, but suppose that y is not 0, right? So we, which allows us to divide by, by y. Um, and here is what we can do. Okay? So we are, we are going to divide by differential equation by y raised to the power alpha. And why is this, uh, why does it help us? Is because now when we do this, the right-hand side does not contain uh, a term with y anymore, right? And the left-hand side is in fact something um, kind of nice and, 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 um, and, and neat. So because, you know, um, we have y raised to the minus alpha here times dy dx. And if you, you, you have y raised to the power, um, one minus alpha, and if you differentiate this, 
then you are going to get the following thing. So you're going to get one minus alpha times y raised to the power one minus alpha minus one, which is just minus alpha times um, dy dx, which is almost this thing, right? So it's just that it, it, it is different from this by, by, by a factor of one minus alpha, right? So, um, which tells us that uh, this circled term is really one um, over one minus alpha times the derivative of um, y raised to the power minus alpha, okay? And this thing is just y raised to the power one minus alpha, right? So which tells us that if now I replace, I uh, introduce a new variable, which is uh, u is y raised to the power one minus alpha, then what I get is the, this differential equation becomes one uh, divided by one minus alpha times du dx plus p of x times u equals p of x. So that's another way to, to kind of to look at it. So um, this method is, is probably shorter, but it kind of, it, it, so to, to do this, you need to notice that um, this term here is, looks very, very similar to the derivative of y raised to the power one minus alpha. Okay, so, but of course in, in practice, um, you can just memorize the, this uh, formula. You, you can just memorize that. What you need to do is to, is the substitution um, u equals y raised to the power one minus alpha and then after that substitution you will get this differential equation okay so that's basically the, the same thing and that's the instruction here so the instruction is to the change of variable is u is y raised to the power one minus alpha and when we do that our differential equation is, is basically it becomes this okay so, and here is how it works in practice. Uh, okay, so here is an example. So let me do this example. So in this case, my alpha is two thirds. All right, so one minus alpha is, one minus two thirds is one third. So, which means that I'm going to introduce the uh, substitution y equals um, y raised to the power one minus alpha, which is one third. And I know uh, from, from theory that after doing this substitution, right, so this term is going to become um, one over one minus alpha, which is one third times, um, oh, basically, here times du dx plus this term is going to be just um, 3 over x times u and the right hand side is going to be basically remain the same only without y it's going to be 12 over uh, square root of 1 plus x squared right okay so let me just just uh, copy it over. Uh, one divided by one third is, is just three. So what I get is three du dx plus three over x u equals twelve over square root of one plus x square. Uh, and I can divide by three. Doing this, I will get du dx plus one over x u equals uh, 4 divided by square root of 1 plus x squared. Okay, um, so let me just, just um, copy it again. So du dx plus 1 over x u equals 4 over square root of 1 plus x squared. 
this is a linear differential equation. So that, that's how the method works. So it's just because we know from theory that if we do this substitution, then we are going to get a linear differential equation, right? Um, so the to solve a linear differential equation, we need to find the integrating factor. So integrating factor is e raised to the power um, integral of whatever is in front of you. Uh, this is one over x dx. And the antiderivative of one over x is just one x, so it's going to be e to the power one x. Well, x is seem to be positive, so it's just ln x without the absolute value sign, and e raised to the power ln x is just x. Okay, so it means that uh, in order to solve the, this differential equation, we need to kind of multiply the whole thing by, by x. And the left-hand side becomes uh, the derivative of u times x. We, we know it from, from theory. So the right-hand side is 4x divided by square root of 1 plus x squared. Right? So which means that um, u times x itself is going to be the antiderivative of 4x divided by square root of 1 plus x squared dx. Okay, now, um, well, x dx is, is really the derivative of x squared. So we can do this by a proper u substitution. But again, so what I do is instead of doing a u substitution, I just I mean, it, it is immediately clear that the answer should be square root of 1 plus x square uh, times some constant, probably. So in order to figure out that that constant, I would, you know, just differentiate this. And the derivative of this is going to be, uh, the derivative of square root is 1 half times 1 of square root of 1 plus x square. And the derivative of uh, x square is 2x. So 2x cancels out. So the derivative of square root of 1 plus x squared is just x divided by square root of 1 plus x squared, and we have 4x, right? So this, this is really just um, uh, 4 times times that, square root of 1 plus x squared plus constant. Right, so which uh, yields, uh, now divided by x, we get u equals 4 square root of 1 plus x squared divided by x plus c over x. And now recall that, uh, you know, uh, u was equal to y to the raised to the one third. So y is, is really u cubed, All right? So which means that y is going to be the same thing, but cubed. So four square root of one plus x square divided by x plus c over x cubed. That's the answer. Okay, so basically that's the, the same thing only printed. And here is the answer. Well, somehow they didn't cube it, so they just left it in this form, which I don't really understand why. So if you if you want y itself, then it's going to be the, this thing cubed. And that's it about Bernoulli differential equation.